We kind of threw a good haymaker there in the first. I thought took some really good swings on him. And I thought our bats against them were really pretty good tonight. But, man, that guy just attacks the strike zone with three different pitches, tough arm slot. Um, and we put some good swings on him, I thought, kind of the first four or five innings. But they made plays on defense. And, and you know, we just put too many guys on for free tonight. I think that's the biggest story for a dangerous lineup like that. Um, too many times getting to an 0-2 count, and it ended up 3-2 and getting them back in the count with kind of uncompetitive pitches. And then and then kind of getting behind and then, then making us pay for it you know and that's what it's what big boy baseball looks like you know so I thought you know I thought I don't think that was uh anything other than the blip in the radar we've done a pretty good job attacking the zone as a hold this year um I thought we just nibbled a little bit and gotten some bad counts and good hitters made us pay for it so that's the beauty of this thing is in 24 hours we'll tee this thing back up and, and be ready to rock tomorrow night yeah, Coach, Tennessee is uh, one of the best teams in the SEC. How important is it for you all to see, kind of see what you need to work on so early on in conference play? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, you know, I've said this from, from the jump. The biggest thing I wanted to see is can we pull ourselves up off the mat? You know, and this group's been – really confident in their work they've been really confident going out there um and you know our two losses leading into tonight were, were tight games and one being in extra innings and one kind of being a, a swing away from taking a lead and this was the first night we really kind of got put on our backs a little bit and, and kind of got hammered there and that's college baseball you know i've been a part of a a lot of lopsided games and on both sides of the baseball and the best teams i've ever been a part of they flush it. They look at, hey, what do we do well? What do we not do well? And take it for what it is and kind of just strip the game down. We talk a lot about that. Like, I think when you strip it down, you, you, you don't give the negative stuff power over you. You just understand, like, hey, this is where we weren't good enough tonight. And against the top five team in the country, when you when you put them in good counts and you, you don't put them away, that, that's kind of what happens. So I thought that was the story of the game, to be honest with you. So it'll be good good test for us, see how we bounce back off the mat tomorrow and, and respond to a little adversity. Coach, as you touched on, it was kind of a, a tale of two stars with Causey really spinning one for Tennessee and then Ben Hess not necessarily the sharpest. What do you think he's going to be able to do going into next week and beyond based on the film tonight to improve the rest of the, the slate? Yeah, you know, I thought he actually did a pretty good job of getting ahead of guys. You know, it seemed like you, we would get ahead, but um, we just couldn't quite put him away early, you know, and it would – You'd look up and it was it was o two and then it turns into a three ball count. They spoil some stuff and and you know when you do that it does a couple things. The hitter gets more comfortable the more pitches he sees and two it just drives that pitch count up. You know and that's what it's what you look at. I thought you know even though we pumped Kazi pretty good there in the first, it was efficient. He was attacking. He didn't kind of let that drive him off anything. He just kept executing pitches and 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 I just thought Heater wasn't able to fit. He had good stuff tonight. I mean the fastball was good. The breaking balls were good. But once we got ahead, we just weren't able to put guys away quick enough. And I think that drove his pitch count up, which is why he's only able to go three and two-thirds for us, you know. And, and with the way Kazi throws a baseball, we needed to match that tonight. We just weren't able to. But I thought Heater had pretty good stuff. We just weren't able to kind of put guys away quick enough. Um, and I think, like you said, that's kind of the difference if you put the two guys up next to each other. I thought Heater's stuff was great tonight. Yeah, Coach, what do you say to the team, you know, after the game to kind of not let this loss get to them to, to – move on in the series yeah I think a little bit of, you know what I've talked about in here you know I think you just strip the game down a little bit JJ will do that in the in the pregame meeting tomorrow we'll do that with the hitters because there was a lot of good tonight you know I thought I thought TJ McCants has kind of scuffled a little bit I would say for his standards at least the last maybe 10 days and thought he was on time tonight I thought he took some really good swings tonight um Ian Petrutz took some really good swings tonight Will Hamner didn't have anything to show for it but took some really good swings tonight um and so I, I I think that's what you look at is like what do we do really well tonight and I thought we we did a really good job running tough at bats off in those middle innings against a really good arm um he just they didn't give us anything you know and I think the difference in up and through about the seventh inning I think we had we had put eight on for free and they put one you know and and on top of that he we just weren't able to get Causey out of the game you know and and that's a tribute to him that's why he's one of the best arms in the SEC and you know he's not going to run you a 99 mile an hour fastball up there but it's an elite change up it's tons of strength out of the fastball a really good pace and really efficient and that's what you need you need you need to your your Friday guy to kind of get deeper into the game and he did a good job of that tonight so I think the same stuff I've talked about in there is what I told him out here we'll strip it down we'll see what we did well what we didn't do well we'll make the adjustments and that's my challenge that's what I want to see from this group is you guys have heard me say that in here how are we going to take a punch you know and and we took a pretty good haymaker tonight and I, I expect this group they're mature they they've been through this a lot of these guys have been through this before and it'll be about lining up tomorrow and that's the beauty of baseball it's 0-0 and we tow it back up and still got a chance to win the series.
Coach, maybe a different kind of thing tomorrow with, with Drew Beam going up. And um, how do you think Greg Froome matches up with him? And what do you want to see your hitters do adjusting to the different style? Yeah. No, and I think I think you're exactly right. Like, I don't even think I need Greg. I need Greg to be Greg, you know, and I think that's what he's done today. He's been really good. Just he attacks with the heater. He's got two different breaking balls. Um, I don't need him to be special, you know, and I, that's what I talked to our hitters about at practice. I talked to our whole team about that a little bit yesterday is, you know, SEC play begins. It's everybody. It's this huge thing. Everybody's talking about all this stuff, but the end of the day i mean it's still baseball you know if we we throw a lot of strikes we make routine plays and we execute offensively you give yourself a chance to win against anybody and you know drew beam there's the guy can really pitch he's done it for a couple of years he's really good i just need greg to go out and be greg if greg's greg he gives us a shot you know and i think that's the beauty of it is because you were able to get buchanan to get through a few innings there and pierce george i thought did some really nice things tonight being able to do that means you, you kind of got some horses ready to go tomorrow. You know, you got him, you got T. Fay ready to go, you got AD ready to go. Um, you got some weapons that you can send tomorrow. So I just need Greg to go out and be Greg, and I need our hitters to go out and just run good at bats off as consistently as we can. You know, and I thought, I thought we did that early. I thought about the, you know, when they started lengthening it out. Um, I thought the sixth, seventh, eighth, we we maybe gave a few at bats away that is a little uncharacteristic that we've got to be a little bit more mature about. Uh, because who knows? In college baseball, it's crazy. You know, you you tack on three or four. There in the six, and all of a sudden it's an 11 6 game, and then Hodo hits a pump, it's 11 7, and you're kind of back in a decent spot right there. Um, so just the consistency of the 27 outs offensively. Um, like I said, I thought there were there were some good things we did, just maybe not as consistent there as I wanted to be. You're going to see a lot of guys in conference play that are going to make your batters see them two or three times. Mm -hmm. And when they have the opportunity to do that tonight, how do you think that helps them when it comes to adjusting their approaches if need be in the future games? Yeah, I mean, I think that's big. Just because you're in that situation, right? Like you're – you, you you the more pitches you see the more comfortable those guys are especially with a guy like Causey tonight it's a different slot um, it's a really good change up you're showing the change up to both sides the arm speed on that change up's really good um, you know we knew and, and, and good arms will do this to you you know we knew from left-handed hitters it's mainly arm side stuff not a lot to his glove side he was able to execute a few glove side pitches today um, and you know, threw a couple sliders threw a couple fastballs and some stuff he hasn't done a ton but to me the more you see them the more comfortable that at bat at least you know what the stuff looks like it doesn't mean doesn't mean the stuff gets worse but at least you've got a feel for the slide you got a feel for the way the stuff's moving um and again like i i thought what caused you did such a good job of tonight it was three pitches it was all strikes and it felt like we stepped in in an 0-2 count a lot of times and that's what really good guys do when they attack like that he kept attacking kept, and kept kind of sitting his stuff i mean tj pumped that ball in the first Ian has a great at bat runs a two strike homer out of there um it would have been easy for him to to kind of get back on his heels and he didn't he just kept sending his stuff and that's what we have to do there it's like you know we we get punched a little bit that's fine just keep sending our stuff you know and and i just thought they did a more consistent job at the plate did a more consistent job on the mound and in doing some of that than we did tonight